What kind of video starts off with a blue screen? Hold your horses, guys. Hey, guys, you watching? Because you want to know me? My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a City episode. 200. Can you believe 200 episodes? Now, you guys know that I use a program called Overviewer to make a, a sort of render of my whole world all at once. Now, what I've done for this special episode is painstakingly, very painstakingly, piece together every single overviewer image that I've got to make like a, almost like a time lapse of the city. So it's 200 episodes condensed down into about one and a half minutes. It worked out to be that I took a sort of render every four episodes on average. So every four episodes, I'd go into the program, I'd render it. So you sort of get this really nice sort of transition between all of the images. It's really cool. I'll, I'll, I'll let you watch it. And here we are today. Come on, guys. That was pretty cool, right? I enjoyed making that. Although it was hard, I did enjoy making it. I enjoy watching it every time I do. I've watched it like 50 times. Uh, I'll show it again at the end of the video. But what I might do, if I remember, is slow the transitions down so it lasts a little bit longer. Because when you're watching it, sometimes you're like, I don't know what changed. What changed between the last picture and this picture? And then sometimes you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that appeared and that appeared. Yeah, 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 I got it. So if I slow it down, we might be able to see the changes. A little bit sort of easier and follow along with the growth but wow 200 episodes it's really cool to think that we started off with not even a map we even made the map custom or the island uh, custom using our world painter way back when uh, so being able to see every single block may maybe not placed by hand but each block was sort of placed by us do you know what I mean? Like, like we done this, each and every single one. Now, there's a, a point now where we have to think very carefully at what spaces we've got left and what spaces are even available to be built on. For example, uh, behind here, behind these houses, the house that we built last episode, we know that we can't build anything on there. So that can now be trees. We know that we're not going to really build anything on here either, so we know that we can put that to trees, same as here. The trees are going to make an awful lot of difference, because when we zoom out here, see how it looks very busy and completed down here? But the whole map, when you look at the map as a whole, it looks very incomplete, doesn't it? It looks very plain and green spaced. That's only because these are hills. If you imagine these trees all over this place, the whole map would look done already. It would look so completed, it would look magnificent. It's just... <laughs> That's even more painstaking than making that slideshow. Uh, was uh, is to place trees down everywhere and saplings and stuff. But it definitely needs to be done pretty soon. We know what spaces that we have left. I've got a little space here. I've got some space here. We've got a space there, a space there. Some spaces around here and there and there. Quite a lot there, actually. And quite a lot around here. We need to do something with this road here and, and dress that up a little bit nicer. We've got some spaces here. And some very small, although this looks like a lot of green here, this actually isn't all that wide of an area. I mean, we've got enough space sort of here to fit some buildings in, because I've already got a building in that gap. Uh, but a lot of these gaps around here uh, are going to be filled very, very quickly. 
We need to do a lot of work up here. This is really boring. And I'm not sure if I even quite like this yet. I might. We might strip this out and build it a lot bigger. And have an actual bigger mountain. Because although it looks cool, it's not really quite a scale. Uh, I'd like to have a bigger mountain there. But try and keep it out of the way of the runway. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then around here, what we might do is is make a little bit more of a flat area here for something. See how it sort of flattens so we come down the hill and then it flattens out approximately here and then gradually goes down here. Well, if we made that hill a bit sharper, we could get a, a larger, flatter area to be able to build on and squeeze some more space out of that because uh, a lot of this sort of terrain here is, is too steep to really build on. So making the most of what we have is going to be quite important because... Yeah, we're, we're getting to a, a really crucial point now uh, of, of don't waste space. We can't waste space anymore. We have to use the space very smartly and think about what's left to build in the city. So let's jump into the world and we'll have a, have a nice little fly around. I might get my private helicopter out or something. I'm on a boat and it's going fast and 200 episodes in. <laughs> Let's jump in the helicopter. What are you doing over there? Hey there. Let's jump in. Can I still remember how to fly it though? That's the question. Yeah. I don't go in these enough. <laughs> oh, I don't know how well the world's going to load with the helicopter. And these are really quite powerful shaders. So I'm not sure how well uh, it, it's going to go. There's some parts of this city that I totally forget about. Let's turn the uh, sounds down of that just so it doesn't deafen me and you um, there's some parts of the city that, that I don't really ever visit anymore like down here I never seem to come down here it's just a part of the world that is so full and completed that that there's no reason for me to ever visit down here because there's no space to build on how cool do those lights look on the top of the cargo tower there that's so smart I wish Minecraft rendered fast. I mean, I've got a powerful computer, and uh, it's these shaders that take a little bit longer, but they look so much cooler with the shaders and the lights on when you're flying around like this. Can we get underneath the bridge? It's not an easy move to do. It's not an easy move. Power, 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 Oh, yes. I can't even do this on GTA, but I can do it on Minecraft. <laughs> oh, there's an achievement on GTA to do this, isn't there? Fly underneath every single bridge or something like that. Oh, yeah. Talk about uh, Grand Theft Auto. There's Grove Street. Yeah. Ooh, uh, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. And the racetrack. Oh, we'll have to go have a go on the racetrack. Yeah, let's go and do that. Let's have a go and have a go on the, on, on the racetrack here. It's been a while since I've done that. Let's go and park in the uh, in the lorry. Or the truck stop part here. A nice big area. Okay. I suppose, um... Ooh, okay, we're down. Uh, yeah. Like a glove. Nicely in the tree. Just how I like it. Um, I suppose, uh, let's say that it takes us 300 episodes to build all the buildings on the world. We could then easily go back and, uh, uh, and build, like, uh, all the interiors. That, that can easily be done. Okay, did I actually have a yellow? There was a yellow one in here, wasn't there? Let's go and take the yellow one. In the blue pits for some reason. Okay. Okay, we're all ready. Hamilton uh, approaches... No, I'm not Hamilton. I'm, I'm, I'm AJ. AJ, the uh, three times world champion F1 driver, enters in the car. The pit team finishes off their checks, makes the tyres warm, and here's a way. I've gone the wrong way. The, uh, the track goes the other way. Okay, hold on. I'll have to go around. <laughs> Tracks don't usually go um, uh, clockwise, do they? At least not. Uh, I don't know. Like on TV, they always seem to go that way. I don't know why. Okay, we need to go this way. Okay. He's out of the pits and he starts his he's, uh, practice lap. This is on the Saturday. Okay, so he's just going gently around the first time. Not too much throttle. Getting a feel for the car. Trying not to hit the walls. Nice and uh, early on the brakes there, around the chicane. Oh, coming around the corner, underneath the giant tyre, picking up a bit of speed. He gets a little bit nervous, he taps the brakes. Okay, around the, uh, what is this, like the last hairpin, I think, isn't this? This one here. Oh, he hits the curbs a little bit too much there. 
past the pit entry lane and across the line. Here he goes now, foot down. He's got used to the track where we cut the corner a little bit too much. That'll be a 10 second penalty. Ooh, it's too fast, it's too fast, it's too fast, it's too fast. Oh, no, and he's crashed and he's gone over the wall. Oh, and he's out for the weekend. He won't be getting his car back now. <laughs> Oh, this is brilliant. So cool when you've got a map like this with so many like different things that you can actually do with it. Um, it, it it's really fun just to like like spend 10 minutes just playing about on stuff. Uh, I'll take the helicopter away. Yeah, it, it's really, really cool to do that. Let's go over and see the prison. We haven't been over there for a while either. So my plan with this city is still the original plan uh once it's all built and done how cool does that look like with the foliage on there and then the fence and the trees behind it that's a really cool shot like that's a really cool shot right there uh, and the reflection in the water i know my plan is still what it was to begin with which is to once completed put this world on a server and have it so we can all join together and you can all play about and drive some cars and fly some planes and shoot each other and just have some fun, race some cars around, have a have a Grand Prix, the, the Zono Grand Prix. Uh, I can make some videos on it and stuff like that. That would be awesome, amazing to do. Now, there are some real hiccups that, even though I haven't properly looked into it yet, I've already come across. Uh, for example, a lot of them are to do with the vehicle mods. A lot of these vehicle mods don't play nice on multiplayer. They work great in single player. They're tricky. <laughs> no, I'm going to say that they're easy. Uh, a lot of these were extremely difficult to get working just on their own, uh, let alone on a server. Uh, but uh, I think it is possible. I remember uh, a few, <laughs> it's weird that I say it's a few years ago now. Um, I still remember the series B00 done um, a few series using Flans mod vehicles and helicopters and stuff like that and the weapons uh, for, I can't remember what the series was called now actually, uh, but he'd done it where there's like a group of people like two teams and they had to build up a base and then blow up each other's bases and they also done bw also done like a zombie uh not yeah yeah like a zombie survival mode but it was like each person was their own one like almost like daisy when daisy was a big thing uh and like he had etho and generic b and everybody and and they all went around the whole of the minecraft team i think it was at the time and uh, uh and and had to hunt each other down with like loot crate loot boxes boxes and stuff like that and uh, he had those mods on there so i know it's possible i know it's possible i'm not smart enough to do that though i need to find someone who's like a god at, at servers and the god at mods and, and and knows exactly how to to do them and put them together because once we've got that going uh it's gonna be amazing really really amazing to have all of this going i mean the texture pack and stuff uh i would have to put as a well it's already up for download but for you guys to see them in the same colors as what i see you'll have to be obviously using the same texture pack as, as i otherwise you'll be seeing it in the vanilla texture pack or whatever texture pack you use which means a lot of the colors uh, will be off i love this little mini plane here as well hey the little statue of the plane that's a really cool little mini build that we've done there isn't it really cool really cool uh, if you were building like a miniature city, that wouldn't be a too bad of a scale. Oh, I burped. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's go to the, town, in the city here. Oh, the Zona Wood sign. But yeah, that, that's the that's the plan. Eventually, I can't wait for that to happen. I mean, even if even if I can't, like it, it would be horrible not to get the vehicles going. But even if I couldn't get all of these vehicles and guns going, just to have the world on a server and have everybody running about on it would be so fun, so fun uh even if we we, we try to got, get something else to use as vehicles like boats or something silly like that uh just to play about on it'd be amazing uh i did have someone working a little bit on it and he was uh, uh looking at at jobs and stuff and programming like like work into the game so you could work at mcdonald's and you'd you could do jobs and that would earn you money uh, which is a really cool idea. I mean, that's that's like deep stuff. That is, uh, I I never really thought of that kind of level of um, what would you call it? Uh, like like de level of detail, not really. Um, well, what, what's the word? It begins with I. Immersion. That's it. Level of immersion. 
uh, of actually having to work and stuff to, to get money and uh, to buy vehicles and buy houses. He was working on like an apartment style uh, sort of code as well, where if like, like same as on Grand Theft Auto, like I can buy that house there or that room there, floor, and someone else can also buy that floor. But when we go into it, we see two different things. Like I'll see my room and he'll see his room and you can invite your friends up into it. Like how Grand Theft Auto 5 works. Um, but like, like he was working on that. Uh, and then that way we don't have to have like one person per house. Otherwise you'd, you'd probably run out pretty quick. Uh, unless we done like each floor of the skyscrapers as a separate room or something like that. But uh, I haven't heard from him for a really long time. I haven't contacted him to be honest for a really long time. And uh, so I don't think that's really going, going through all that much. He didn't get far at all though. It was sort of idea throwing about and he was working here and there on some bits. Um, but yeah, if you know anybody, let me know, even if it's just for like a chat, uh, about like the possibilities and stuff like that. Um, I, I would love to find somebody and I don't know who, I have no idea who, I don't know even where to start looking to find someone who knows about that kind of thing. This is a great part of the city to look at because there is no green space. Like, like you've got the beach and the rocks and the towels and the car park and the lights, supermarket, all of the different colors of the buildings all the roads going through it's just a really completed part isn't it really really cool even with the uh the little sort of pond going through the middle there really nice really nice let's head over this way oh stadiums over here yeah pier still needs to be done i always say i need to do the pier it would only take like a couple of episodes let's say to do like i want to get like a load of colored ones of these going down either side just to dress up the sort of you know walk the boardwalk to it and then over here uh, i just need to put like an ice cream oh that's gonna be like an ice cream thing going on there i want to have that on there maybe some more colors and some seating and some benches and stuff and this would look a lot better i think it's a bit small now <coughs> now that we've built it and we've got the stadium next to it and stuff uh, although it is quite a long walk to get down here, I don't know, like, if you imagine, like, it's probably about the right length, to be fair. Like, if you imagine that you were standing on the beach in the real world and you looked out, that's about as far as the pier would go out. Like, the piers that I've been to and stuff like that, they didn't go out much further than that. That's quite a way. I mean, that's like two times the distance of the beach to the end of it. It, it is about right. I think it is about right. Really cool um, lamp designs. Uh, down here as well the only lamps of that kind in the city what is that giant line oh it's the shadow from the beacon who knew beacons cast at a shadow stadiums in here as well we keep it as the permanent uh soccer or football pitch now uh, but we've got a load of different pitches that we can or, or, or centers that we can put on monster track uh monster truck sort of rallies and uh, olympics and ice hockey and stuff like that but this one i just think looks the smartest in the stadium boy does it look cool as well didn't take us long at all to build it subscriber um badge on the front as well we had a little sort of mini competition uh to come up with a cool design and that was the winner really cool it's like my face look hey how cool is that that is cool really cool design uh it didn't take us that long to build this stadium actually we've got a series it's a separate series if you want to go and check it out i think by three or four episodes in we had like the whole structure done um, it was really, we don't, we found a really quick way, uh, to do it. We started at the cruise ship, but we never actually looked at it at all. It's been a while since I've come over here as well. This again was another separate series that we'd done, but on the same world. Uh, actually a crazy popular series for some reason still. Get a lot of views still go up on this. Uh, full interior on it as well. Even with a working engine. Uh, which is why it takes a little bit of a longer time to load at the back here because there's some redstone and I think it's really bad redstone and there's really bad clocks used in it so it sort of lags out a little bit yeah it even got people on it even populated oh I never done that room though did I I never done like the control room how did I forget that I don't think I've ever thought that I've even forget that but yeah civilians all wandering about here big old swimming pool on the on the top really really cool Really, really cool. Not a fan of the red lines anymore that go around the paths. I'd probably change it up to a little bit more of a subtler colour at the time I liked it. But now, I ain't quite so sure. Even got lifeboats. 
on the side as well. What are you doing there? How did you get there? How did you get there? <laughs> what? They couldn't have got on it from that side. They don't walk off the edge because they're not dumb enough to do that kind of thing. Huh? <laughs> what? Okay, whatever. Fine by me. Doesn't. I ain't bothered. I ain't bothered. Uh, and then wh wh where else have we got? Oh yeah, we never went into the skyscraper area, did we? We never actually got to the middle. I sort of circled around the side. So we'll go through the middle as well. I hope the most sort of important part, I think, of this series for me is to give you guys inspiration. Like, these world tours, although I'm not sort of going through and explaining this, is this building, this is an apartment building, this is a gym, this is a factory, like I normally do, because it's too many buildings to do that with now. It'd be like a three hour long world tour. I'm sort of just flying around and hopefully you guys, if you're building a city or if you're just sort of bored and you want to just do something, you can go, hey, I, I like that building. I want to build that building. So you can sort of pause the video and take a look at it and take some screenshots and try and sort of build along with it and, and add your own things to it. If I can, if I can give some inspiration to you guys uh, to build sort of your own buildings or, or help with your own city, then that's great. And, and we've got so many buildings now in this city that hopefully there should be something that you guys like. Glitchy on there. Then, did you see that? Still haven't fixed the windows on this skyscraper. I say it every single world tour. I've got one side fixed, haven't I? Isn't it this side? Yeah, with the windows pushed back. But I've never done any of the other ones. I need to do it. I need to do it. It's also a block that I never use now either, this block. The custom block that I made construction site one that's really cool one of my favorite builds i tell you what is one of my favorite standalone things in the whole city uh is this digger i think it looks so cool there's so much detail on that it's it's crazy we've got the bucket on the front we've got headlights and little exhaust pipes coming out of the top a little hydraulics uh ladders going up the side these are you, you can climb up them you know you, you can climb up at all and stuff Little trap doors and, and, and all kinds of little backloader. Realize everything. Even the door rooms, you can't get in it. <laughs> That's one downside. But yeah, it's really cool. And even the little excavator there is amazing as well. He's digging into the uh, the ground there. Really good use of blocks. Like, um, not a normal use of blocks. Still got to finish off this area though and incorporate these vehicles into it. You know, we've got. A cement mixer let's make use of it you know and, and, and this is the guy full of all the dirt that he's he's pulled up from there so uh, yeah it's definitely something that we need to incorporate in uh, a lot more really really cool and nearly every single ne nearly every single building in this city has been inspired from real pictures that's the way that we sort of seem to do it a lot you know a lot of this cathedral is based off real pictures we put our own spin on it we change up parts that we just can't do in Minecraft or, or parts that we just don't like on the real building. So we change it up to ours. Uh, but that's the way that I like to build is by, is by taking real pictures and modifying them. Uh, you learn a lot. You learn a lot that way. You learn a lot about actual real architecture. But you also learn a lot about how blocks in Minecraft like fit together. What colors work and what don't work. I'm not saying that I'm an amazing builder. Don't look at that building. That's like not. <laughs> that's the perfect example. I, I, I'm really not a fan of that building yet. I like it in overview. I just don't like it in the real, real sort of version of the city. Um, I'm not saying that I'm the best builder in the world. Certainly not. And I'm by far not the best. But uh, I do think that this style, my style of building, when you build many, many of them, they all fit together and suit quite well. So. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's jump on the trade to finish off here. Uh, I can never remember. Uh, um, there we go. How do I? There we go. <laughs> I don't want to focus on the train, no, no, through the window. 
Oh yeah, I haven't fixed this either. We need to. I still need to fix that. Uh, the the track there. The track works, but I need to fix it to to the track now. Really cool. You can just let off the throttle, and uh, and look about. Can I do that? I can't do that. My head's through it. How smart is that though, hey? Alright guys, I'm going to leave it there. What a crazy 200 episodes. I hope you guys really enjoyed um, like like the little time lapse. I'll put the time lapse on the end now as well and uh, and slow it down if I remember. Hit that like button if you haven't. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the episode and we shall see you in 201. World download is in the description below.